Toy fans, welcome to a LEGO Star Wars review. This is of the all new summer sets for 2014. This is set 75053 of the Ghost, ages 9 to 14. Will cost 69.99 to purchase. Let's have a look at the minifigures we get included. There are four. There is Zeb Aurelius. I hope I'm pronouncing these correct. These are all new figures. There we get Hera Sindula. We get Kanan and Jarrus, and we get an all new Stormtrooper as well. This is one of the more expensive sets, very meaty it is as well. Let's have a look at the rear of the box. But I will open this up now and see exactly what we get included in the box before I do construct it. So here is the entire contents of the box and there is such a lot of it as well. We have one sticker sheet which may not please a lot of people. We have two floating pieces inside and we have two instruction manuals included as well. And we have a total of six bags of uh, Lego building pleasure for you to have there. So let's get this constructed and see exactly what it looks like. And here it is all constructed guys, we do have the four new and exclusive minifigures there sitting at the front or standing even. We do get one brick separator with this as it is quite a large set. We do normally get a brick separator and you can see how big the ship is, it is one chunky ship. But first let's take a look at those four new minifigures. So first up we have Zeb Aurelius, if I did pronounce that right, it does come with a bow blaster I think it is called does have two blasters connected to a lightsaber hilt there is the print detail all new molded head which is very cool all in purple and there is the rear torso print as well so the next minifigure is Hera Sindula or Dula one of those pronunciations is correct but there you go a small blaster some nice printing detail as well. The headpiece is very cool. Love that headpiece. Let's just take that off and you can see we do have two face prints included on that head. But that headpiece is really cool. We do have some printed detail on the top as well. And next up our third minifigure is Kanan Jarus. So this one does come with a blue lightsaber, a medium sized blaster and there is the front and the rear of your minifigure. It does have a ponytailed hairpiece that comes with this and we do get two face prints fashioning a very stylish goatee beard there. So there you go, those are stylish minifigures. So we do have one more left and that is the new style Stormtrooper. And there you go, always a welcome upgrade is the Stormtrooper or the Clown Troopers always nice to have an upgrade on those, we do get a larger blaster with this a very nice helmet piece I am liking the detail on that helmet piece there is the one face print that we do get and we get printed legs on this as well and there is the front and rear of that minifigure and here we have the extremely large ghost, you can see this is a very bulky ship very very cool I love the way this looks we do have the thruster system at the rear and we do have a docking station there for the Phantom Starship but you will have to buy that separately guys but that is where you dock it we do have some entrance doors there as well you can open those and that will show you at the bottom of the turret which is at the top here but I really do like that docking station that is a really nice part of this ship, the turret on the top, you can spin around. You can also get a minifigure in there, you can remove that. You can sit your minifigure in there, and when it is ready, you just pop that back into place and your turret will spin around. We do have two escape pods, one either side, and these will just pop out. And if you open these up, you can see we have a seating area inside, and those are both exactly the same and you can pop them back into place when you are not using them. We do have the front section as well, which is of course the cockpit area. We do have two opening pieces. We have the dome piece there at the front and on the top. 
we have the normal cockpit glass section both do come with sticker applications but I really do like the way you can open both of those it does open the front of the ship up very nicely we have guns there which you can rotate on the front I'll try and bring this around now we can see underneath we do have our spring loaded firing mechanism and these are translucent green all you need to do is push down on those and those will fire off we do get two of those we also get a cargo area and there's a trap door there so you can pull that lever that will bring your cargo section down and then in there we do have this crate and to lock that back up you can just push the arm back in and in the crate we do have a holocron which is just three bricks connected together so that crate does sit inside of that area we also get two hatches on the front of this for storage there is the first one and the second one is there where we also have our third translucent green projectile so you can keep the two in play but if you are using this for play you do have a spare one there so you've got a faster reload on this ship when it comes to the firing mechanism so there you have it guys a really bulky ship it does look very very nice you do have some nice features on this some uh, hidden features as well opening cockpit areas uh, spinning turret so there is really lots and lots going for this ship and if you do get the extra ship to go with this that would look really nice docked there on the rear of this fearsome looking ship well thanks for joining me for this lego review and i hope to see you here next time on toy review tv